Do you want to start your career as a data scientist but do not know where to start? Well, you're at the right place. Hi all, this is Upasna from Edureka and this module is designed to give you a kickstart into the data science world. But before we begin, let me give you an outline of what you should be expecting from this session. So we'll start off by discussing a little bit about the current scenario in data science and the industry and market trends followed by the current salary situation, how it varies across job roles, after which we shall see the salary trends by both experience and functional areas. Also, I shall be talking about the companies that are hiring in data science as well as the roles they offer. Then I shall discuss the skill set you must acquire before applying into the sector. And finally, we shall see an outline of the training provided at Edureka. So without much ado, let's get straight into the module. So in a world where 2.5 quintillion bytes of data is produced every day, a professional who can organize this humongous data to provide business solutions is indeed a hero. Much has been spoken about why data science is here to stay and why is it the best career move. Building on what's already been written and said, let's discuss the market trends in data science. A report by Glassdoor shows that data scientists lead the pack for the best jobs in America. On Indeed.com, the average data scientist salaries for job postings in the U.S. are 113% higher than the average salaries of all job postings nationwide. The report goes on to say that the median salary for a data scientist is an impressive $116,000 and there are over 1,736 job openings posted on the site. According to Forbes, the number of data science job listings is projected to grow by nearly 364,000 listings by 2020. This upward swing in data science careers and opportunities is expected to continue for a long, long time to come. As data pervades our life and companies try to make sense of the data generated, skilled data scientists will be continued to be wooed by businesses, both big and small. Businesses analyzing data are estimated to be around $430 billion by 2020 over their rivals who are not analyzing. Next, let's talk a little bit about the salary trends. So data scientists are responsible for many tasks in a business, including analytics, building data products, using programming languages like Java, along with developing visualizations and machine learning algorithms in Python and R. Because of this, the average salary package of a data scientist is a lucrative $6,93,000 in India or $116,000 in the US a year. Additionally, based on your experience and skill set, companies can offer you up to $130,000 per annum. The fact that companies do not weigh your professional background based on your years of experience if you are a skilled data scientist is an added bonus. You can observe that over 15% of all data scientists that are being hired in India and abroad are fresh graduates. The number is even higher in the American continent. Here are the salary brackets for data science professionals in the US and in India categorized by experience. Now, data science has given rise to a new era of economic growth and companies are looking at it to transform their businesses. By enabling an intersection of math, data and machine learning, Companies like Mu Sigma, Google, and IQVIA have a vested interest. Their core products and services are built around delivering and facilitating data science. With companies like Facebook, it is more like the application purposes. Data science has completely changed the face of the industry and it has created new job opportunities for job seekers in all the markets. Existing professionals with transferable skills will also find progression opportunities with data science. So here I'm listing down the salaries offered to a data scientist by major companies who are actively hiring. With all that said, a question is very obvious to pop up. Who can take up data science? Are we all born data scientists? The answer is no. Now, big data and data science is an employment boom across different industries. Today, data science and big data technologies are adopted by organizations of all types. Therefore, data science and analytics is not subjected to one particular background or field. Professionals from all verticals are moving to analysis by learning data science and big data technologies. So if you're wondering if you can take up a data science class or not, rest assured, you can. So here are a number of professions which can switch to data science. First up, we have IT professionals. Now, data scientists are the new IT rock stars. Yes, a huge bunch of IT professionals are moving from programming to development of analytics. IT professionals come with computing knowledge and the fact that their skills are transferable is the biggest reason for them to be fascinated about data science. Not only that, this perfect deviation in the career is going to be rich and rewarding. Next up, we have marketing professionals. 
So the big data and data science field is a big problem for all the top brands in market today. All the data that is flowing from weblogs, social media, smartphones, etc. is totally unmanageable for the brands to capture and process within traditional database systems. But the future says that big data and data science is the next frontier for innovation and competitive productivity. Therefore, organizations are adopting data science technologies for data mining and management. Therefore, it is evident that marketing professionals with data science skills are preferred, hired and paid more than others. Next up, a very similar field, we have finance professionals. Banks, insurance companies, investment companies and other financial bodies harness large volumes of data from various sources like transaction details, real-time market fields, customer service records, correspondence and social media posts. Many finance firms are facing challenges in terms of putting data science to work. Due to privacy and security reasons, these firms are reluctant to adopt the cloud-based data science infrastructure. Considering these aspects, this sector tops the list of those who want data science as a talent. Next, we have healthcare professionals. Never thought you'd heard that one, did you? Healthcare is also one of those sectors which data science is dependent upon. So where does healthcare have so much data coming from? The data comes from various sources like electronic medical records, labs, imaging systems, medical correspondence, claims, databases, and finance. Therefore, data science plays a major role in the healthcare sector as well. Next, we have media and entertainment. Now, media has a huge population when it compares to other sectors. It can also be said that it is more popular than any other sector today. The fact is that the world is prone to internet. Thus, the flow of data here is comparably huge. Also, the mining of this data is a crucial thing, which calls for data science experts to this field as well. And finally, we have our retailers. Retail is the sector that has the highest potential out of all of these. It has been confirmed by the IDC research firm that retailers are looking at data analytics to derive business benefits. And also, organizations can bring together both online and offline data along with conversations and interactions to better understanding the factors that drive these shoppers. Now, we have only touched a handful of industries and professionals who are and can learn data science. Today, it is not really a question that any business that comes to your mind has data science based in it. So the reach is endless. With that, let's move on to the roles available for data science professionals across all domains. So these are a few data science roles which we have enlisted. First up, we have data scientist. So as a data scientist, you'll be responsible for jobs that span three domains of skills, statistical or mathematical reasoning, you have your business communication, and you have your computer science or programming. You'll often be asked to see data science projects from end to end. Next, we have data engineers. Data engineers are the heart and soul of data science. They're responsible for designing, building, and managing the data infrastructure. They do play a major role in developing the architecture to analyze and process the data according to the business need. With that, let's move on to another really important role, which is of the data architect. Now, people with traditional programming and business intelligence backgrounds have all the prerequisites to become data architects. They are often familiar with undefined and unstructured type of data and statistics as well. Now, data architects are also creative enough to harness the data in new ways for new insights which is a great plus to the data science community. Next, we have database administrators. So administrating the collected data is an important task for organizations' decisions. They make use of multiple software tools to store and organize data for further analysis. Talking of analysis, we have our data analysts. Now, this role is something you might have all heard of. These are the technologists who translate data analytics into vital information for businesses to use. They manage to harness the data analytics in a layman's language to be able to communicate the outcome to all the parts of the company. And finally, we have the data ecologists. They basically help you when you are stuck on finding a particular file from your overloaded system. Data ecologists create and manage on public and private clouds, making it easily accessible. Now, we have talked about all the roles available in data science, but what are the skills that you need to acquire for these? First of all, you have statistics. Now, Wikipedia defines data science as the study of collection, analysis, interpretation, presentation, and organization of data. Whew, that's a mouthful, but therefore it shouldn't be a surprise that data scientists need to know statistics. Next, we have a programming language, say R or Python. 
With programming languages, you can manipulate the data and apply certain algorithms to come up with some meaningful insight. Python and R are a few of the most widely used languages by data scientists. Next, you have ETL or data extraction, transformation and loading. Suppose we have multiple data sources like MySQL, MongoDB, Google Analytics, etc. You have to extract the data from various such sources and then transform it for storing in a proper format or structure for the purpose of querying and analysis. Finally, you have to load that data into the warehouse where you will analyze the data. So people from ETL backgrounds, data science can be a good career option. Next, we have machine learning. Machine learning, as the name suggests, is the process of making machines intelligent enough that have the power to think, analyze, and make decisions on their own. By building precise machine learning models, an organization has a better chance of identifying profitable opportunities or avoiding unknown risks. So therefore, you should have a good hands-on knowledge of various supervised and unsupervised algorithms for data science to be a good career option. Next, we have big data processing frameworks. A huge amount of data is required to train machine learning or deep learning models. Earlier, because of the lack of data and computational power, creating precise machine learning models was not possible. Nowadays, huge amounts of data is generated at a good velocity. This data can be structured or unstructured or semi-structured. Therefore, it cannot be processed by traditional data processing systems. Such humongous data sets are termed as big data. Therefore, we require frameworks like Hadoop and Spark to handle big data. Nowadays, most of the organizations are using big data analytics to gain hidden business insights. It is therefore a must-have skill for a data scientist. Apart from these, businesses who engage in data science technologies are businesses that are invested in the future. They are seeking forward-thinking professionals who not only meet standards in academia, but also have soft skills. So collaborators who can integrate their deep business knowledge in problem solving are also tipped to be in demand. Analytics and visualizations are important as to provide insight about the data. Finally, professionals who can convey a complex idea in a simple way, either via speech or written communication, are also ones in demand. So data science is the perfect platform for job seekers to showcase their skills and more companies to establish relationships with skilled professionals. So I don't think there could be a better time to get into this technology than right now. And there's some good news. Edireka provides a data science certification training and the outline of its syllabus looks something like this. Now this program follows a set structure of six core courses and eight electives spread across 26 weeks. It makes you an expert in key technologies related to data science. And at the end of each core course, you will be working on a real-time capstone project to gain hands-on expertise. By the end of this program, you shall be ready for any seasoned data science job roles. With that, I conclude my session. If you have any queries, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you and have a great day ahead.